Hello stampers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a fun card that I designed that I'm going to call the barn door. Open barn door fold. Um, was walking my dog and I thought of this particular fun fold. So I want to show you how I did that. And today I used the Scenic punk Pumpkin Patch, which is an online exclusive available while supplies last. And it's a lot of fun for making for building a scene. And that's what I did. So first off, I took a piece of designer series paper. This paper is called um, <clears throat> Country Woods Designer Series Paper. And this particular piece is five and a quarter by four inches. So I cut it out. And then I took another online exclusive die set, um, which is called, gosh, I should have written this down, I suppose, the Country Me or Garden Meadows dies. Has a lot of really fun dies in it. Goes along with a really cute stamp set. And I have some other videos that I've made with this card. <clears throat> but I went ahead and cut it out just to kind of speed up my video using the one that looks like an arch and cut it out <clears throat> there. Then I took this archway. I took my um, paper trimmer and this measures uh, three inches across so I went ahead and cut it at one and a half inches right down the center so I cut it in half which should give me my barn door and then I took two pieces two strips of the same paper the one and a half inch one half inch by two and seven eighths inch and i scored it at one quarter inch and then i took my sticky strip here it is and put it along both sides uh, the green side just like that You can tear it, but it really works better just to cut it like that. Oops, sorry, not even on the on the screen. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so whatever you use for adhesive, it needs to be super narrow and really I recommend you use sticky strip because it's strict it's stickier than um, stamping seal which probably wouldn't hold for this type of card so I did that and then I took my bone folder and gave it a nice crisp edge like that still leaving the paper backing on there and then I took the strip off just one side And I'm going to do it this way so I can line up. I'm going to line up the bottom with the bottom of the strip. And along this side here, I'm going to line it up. All right, so there's that. And I'm going to pull this strip off. And I'm going to line it in, into the archway. So you want to make sure you get it right to start with because sticky strip is not relocatable. So there we go. There's my first side of the door. You just want to fold it in half and give it a nice crisp edge. All right, so there it is. I went ahead and just did the other side to speed up the video, but it's basically the same. All right, so now I took, um, this is 11 inches by four and a quarter crumb cake. 
scored at five and a half, give it a crisp edge. And this is four inches by five and a quarter. And that's what I'm going to use for inside, <clears throat> inside my window. All right, so now it's time to start stamping. Just want to make sure, okay. Alrighty, so I'm going to start with the pumpkins in the foreground, first of all. And for those, I used Cajun Craze. And this is a builder, a builder stamp set, so you're going to be building a scene. I really enjoy these kind of stamp sets. I think they're a lot of fun. I'm going to start with my biggest pumpkin. And I'll stamp one in the middle. Up a little bit. And off to the right and off to the left. There we go. Then my next row, I'm going to do two rows of pumpkin. And this time I'm going to use pumpkin pie. Still pretty much summertime here, but trying to work ahead a little in the cards. And this time I'm going to use the medium sized pumpkins. Use the largest first. And hmm, let me take a look at this. I think I'm. Oh, yeah, this is right. Okay. Actually, I looked at the picture here to see. I see that one is up and this one is up. So. A little hard sometimes to tell what's upside, what's up, right side up and what's upside down. Okay, we'll just go over there and go over here. And then I think I'm going to move, move it a little so it's off to the side. <clears throat> So it doesn't look like, you know, exactly the same on both sides. All right, so there's my pumpkin pie row. And then my last row is going to be peach pie. Now, if you don't have all these colors, you could always stamp off too. Whoops, did I do that? Ah, it's on my finger. Well, shoot. We'll have to cover that up somehow. Alrighty, let's use the smaller pumpkins. All right. Well, what am I going to do about that pumpkin? Because it's going to show. Or that smudge. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll see what we can do. <clears throat> All right. Next, I'm going to take and do the little stem. If I can find it. Oh, there it is, the stems. And the funny thing is, okay, there's actually one, two, three different stems. When I first saw these, I thought they were birds. So these, this three goes with this, this one, and it goes like that. And then I realized, oh, no, those are stems. All right, so I'm going to use Mossy Meadow for my pumpkin stems. I'm going to move that one out of the way. Got my mossy meadow open. And like, I, I don't know if you noticed what I was doing there. I was just trying to make sure which way this goes and which one it goes with. And so, yeah. I'm just lining them up, which is honestly kind of hard to do while standing up making a video. <laughs> but there, I did it. Perfect. All right. So for the next row, the medium size, there's five stems. Let's see if I can find those. I actually got, those are the smallest. I'm going to take that off for a sec. I'll put that on a different one. 
there. All right. This is a medium size and goes like that. Let me get my little scrap, side scrap going here. That one goes off the table that way. And or off the card, not the table. Hello. And off the card this way. Okay, cool. And then my little row. Here we go. Let's see, how did I do that? Okay, there we go. I had to compare this to the image to see where I started so I could line up my caps on my pumpkin. Okay, perfect. So there's that. Then next I'm going to put the fence on. And for that, I used Pebbled Path for my little picket fence, <clears throat> which would be a really good color to disguise that orange with, but I think I will try to do that. See if I can go over that orange with the pebbled path. Yeah, not too bad, huh? Now, it was a little bit difficult to line this fence up, I'm not going to lie. Could probably do a better job if I was going a little slower, but I'm not, so there you have it. Okay. That looks great. Then next I'm going to do the ground, which I did in Old Olive, or the grass, the little hills that the trees are on. You know, I <laughs> wonder if I should do the trees first. Now I think I'll do the hills first. That way I can line up the trees with the hill. So, no, you know what? I'm going to do the house first because it needs to go in the middle. And for that I used a pool party. Get that out of the way. Do this cute little house. And I want him in the middle. That looks pretty good. And I did the roof of the house in crumb cake. Not too bad. Okay, now I can do my hills on the side. So that lines up with my house and not just kind of randomly floating out there. This could also, looks to me like it could be clouds too. Also, it looks like I might have stamped it off <laughs> on my original card, but we're going to stamp it on because it's too late for that. <clears throat> so if I would have stamped it off, here, I will show you the difference. Here it is stamped on. There it is stamped off. And you can see that I did stamp it off on my original card, but it'll look good like this. All right, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to do the trees next. And... 
those I did, first of all, the outlines in pecan pie. I set that aside because I am going to use that again. So the trees in pecan pie. And here's the question, did I stamp them on or off? Looks like I stamped them on. All right, so now you want to line the top of the hill up with the top of the green hill. There we go. Oh, you know what? Okay, so I did stamp those on, but then I stamped on the side I see off. So let me do that. There we go. I'm not really sure. You're probably just... I don't even know if you'll see any of those in the card, but we'll see. All right, and then this is the tree. And I'm using um, Old Olive again, and I'm stamping it on. So right there. And that one's going to be stamped off. Stamping on, stamping off. Stamping on, stamping off. The rest of these will be stamped on. I kind of messed that one up, so let me go back over it again. Perfect. All right, so now my last step. I'm done stamping. And I think that that's pretty fun, building these little scenes. I took uh, watercolor pencils. <clears throat> and I used Old Olive for the ground here. And just lightly rubbing my pencil back and forth in the white areas. And I mean, you don't have to do this at all. When I made this card at Stamp Club, some of the ladies didn't even notice I had done this. But I think it kind of gives it a more finished look. And you don't really have to be too good because you can't really see it if you smudge it onto your pumpkins. So I'm just lightly rubbing this pencil. To kind of give the effect of, I don't know, grass or something. So did I get it everywhere? What do you think? Might just do it a little on the fence so it kind of gives it, it's not so white looking. See if I can cover up a little bit more of that orange there. It looks like somebody threw, <laughs> threw a pumpkin at the fence, right? And now I'm gonna take Pacific Point and just lightly sketch in the sky which I might have just gotten it too dark. But sometimes that happens. Oh, now I'm saying I forgot to stamp that tree right there. So let's do that. There we go. Okay, so now we are virtually done. Just have to put it on. Whoops. I got flower just hanging around the side of my desk. So yeah, look at that. Actually, the um, most of that pumpkin did get covered up. All right, so what I'm going to do here is just put um, sticky strip. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, I think I'll use sticky strip. I, I, I just think that this card's going to get a little more um, people will be pulling on a little and so you want to make sure you use a good adhesive for the front of this card so i'm going to go ahead and use sticky strip i generally wouldn't but i will for this one 
because you don't want your card front flying off when people are playing with the door. So I did notice on the online on my online store that this designer paper is not available right now, but um, that's because they had Stampin' Up had a 10% off sale of this paper, and so it's sold out. But they'll get it back in because it's in the main catalog. So I didn't look to see when it would be available again, but this is great paper for all kinds of card making. I've used almost an entire pack. So it's a great investment. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stick this white to the back of this. That way. There we go. All right, so now... Uh, now you could use sticky strip again, or I think it's okay to use seal. You know, I'm gonna use sticky strip because if someone's pulling on this and pull it off, pulls it off the card front, like I said, that would not be good. So I'm just gonna use a little more adhesive than usual, but that way no one's gonna be yanking your door off or your front panel off. And I have had that happen before. So don't want that to happen. So I don't know. This was totally my idea. I don't know if someone else has thought about it. Thought it up, though. They probably have. Who knows? But like I said, I was walking my dog, and I thought, oh, that would be a fun thing to do to have it open up like a door a barn door kind of thing or a front door and there we go i did not put a sentiment on this card because well for one thing there's just not enough room and you could put something on the inside when you decide to use it so that's my Barn door card with the scenic pumpkin patch. And please like my video, leave me an encouraging comment, subscribe to my channel, and have a great day.